Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to preview and adjust page layout. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a Word document open here and I'll scroll through the document so that you can see how this looks. We got one page, we have a second page right here, and that's where our document ends. So we have two pages. Let's talk about some printing options here. So I'm going to go to the File tab. This is where we print from. And printing means taking the electronic version on Word and printing it onto physical pieces of paper. So we go to print. And this is where we can set up our printer and adjust our margins and do all kinds of things. And so one of the things that I wanted to focus on in this uh, tutorial here was this overall print layout. And so I've displayed the print preview of the document. And so you can actually zoom in and out in this area by holding down control and scrolling up to zoom in or down to scroll to zoom out. Okay, so you just hold control, you put your cursor over any part of the actual document, hold control, scroll up to zoom in, scroll down to zoom out, just like that. So we see that this document is two pages long. Now I wanted to show you how to set up the margins. Along the left side here in the print area, you're going to see that you have some options. Down here, our second to last option has normal margins. Now margins are the amount of space that occurs between the very edge of the physical piece of paper and where your text begins. So in this case, we have one inch on the left and one inch on the right. So there's one inch on the left before the text appears and one inch on the right before the page ends. So you can see that just like that. All right, so now if I hit the margins arrow, you'll see that I have some different options. Wide right here is what I wanted to show next. Wide says the top margin and the bottom margin will still be one inch, but the left and right margin will appear as two inches. So this is basically taking our text and condensing it into a smaller area. And I'll show you what that looks like. We choose wide, and you'll now see that there's two inches from the edge of the paper to where the text starts, and then two inches from where the text ends until the end of the paper. You'll also notice that if I scroll down now, I have three total pages. So one, two, three. So by changing the margins to wide, we see that in the, immediately, uh, the immediate effect of this is that there's now three pages on our Word document. We can scroll up and down to view the new third page or the original two pages. So now I wanted to show you the print uh, or the page setup dialog box. Down at the very bottom below the options above, you'll see page setup. And this has additional options for formatting um, our page before we print it out. And if I click page setup, you'll see that I have margin options right here, which again is the focus of today's video. So changing the margins um, can also be done custom. And so you'll see that I have the margins right here. And on the page setup dialog box, which we're on, we just stay within the margins tab. We see that we have margins, orientation, pages, preview and apply to. Um, under preview, I wanted to see, or under pages, I wanted to see multiple pages and I wanted to show you this one right here, mirror margins. By changing this to mirror margins, this is when you wanted to, or if you wanted to print out something that's go going to go on both sides of a paper. Okay, so if you print on one side of a paper and print on another side of a paper, mirror margins can be helpful. Now doing this allow, or Setting your up mirror margins allows you, again, to optimize the margins for uh, paper that is printed on both sides. This is also something you might see in a book um, when you're printing out for a book. Um, that way, the inside flap always has a slightly larger margin than everything else. And so right here, it says inside and outside. The inside part of a book, remember, if if you have a book, obviously, like all the pages on the very inside, when you open up the book, it's going to make it so that um, those inside pages are closer to together. So you want that inside part to be a little bit further out from each other. So I'm going to change the inside margin to 2.5. When I do this and I click OK, 
you'll see that it adds a little bit extra space right there. Now you'll see it kind of messed up this text box over here. This is something I would need to fix on my actual document, but I could change that inside margin to 2.5 to give me that little extra space for the inside part of a book. If I was ready to print this for a book, I could go right here and choose print and print that out. So when it comes to printing a book, mirror margins works really well, and you can change that inside margin specifically in your page setup dialog box. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Also, if you want to learn more about my, using Microsoft Word 2019, I have a playlist on that on my YouTube channel, as well as a Word 2016 playlist, which has a lot of great content as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.